Tell me about what you got there, Elliot. Well, I have a... I mean, we could probably call this a completely custom knife. That's what it I called it. Yeah, it's completely knife. custom. Not a probably, it's a definitely. Um, because uh, there were no CNC machines used in the creation of this knife. I no, because there's only one. There's only ever going to be that knife. That's not a model. That is completely one-off. No Thank God. No knife will ever be like that. <laughs> Thank God, because I don't ever have to sharpen another one. There's things that, uh, that I don't do very much of, like a big titanium backspacer. Uh, those are rare, few and far between. I don't love titanium backspacers. Um, that is the largest SM100 blade I think I've ever put in a folder at this point and yeah. you guys are gonna get to see I got some close-up video of it it's it's beautiful um, you'll notice this doesn't have a ferrum forge mark on it it just has a, an e dub my, my custom makers marks it's some copper accents because why not and then it's um, well a nice suited to the hand style of knife it is it's comfortable it is comfy a unique blade design blade shape it was uh it was uh, it, it's it's unique it uh it's um pretty pretty straight but still has enough belly that you can do things with the tip yep exactly i'm gonna just leave that one be yep <laughs> and then like i said so far as i know this is the only man that i know of that knows how to anodize sm100 Sometimes you'll see it heat colored and things like that, but a true anno, this is the only guy I know that knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. And I watched him do that specific blade right there. Don't, don't do that. I know how sharp that is. I don't want to have to refinish it. I was more concerned about uh, the amount of finger he would lose when the blade caught him. So, I finished sharpening it, dropping it off, figured I would get your little take on what you've done there. I like it. It's nice. If I had, that's going to go for a lot. So how is that going to go up? Is that going to go up? I think we are going to auction it very soon. Very soon. Like I am going to refresh the action. Yeah, my grit from my wet, uh, my water stones gets in there and likes to stick in the SM100. And SM100 is very, very picky. call it the pickiest of blade materials in terms of uh, how precise the pressure has to be on the lock bar, how lubricated the ball that's in the detent has to be. It's, it's a pain in the ass, but it's gorgeous. Once we get it there, it's kind of magical. It's a very unique material. Also, very expensive material. So I talked about that. Would you say that the it's the amount per pound you could make how many blades from what you? I, I forget what you said when you were doing the stingers. You told me about that because you were still finished up the stingers the first time I ever came up here, and you were saying how many blades you could have made out of steel versus how many you made out of SM100. Well, so SM100 is about five hundred dollars a pound, like twenty CV very nice and fairly expensive steel we pay in the quantities we buy it at about twenty dollars a pound it's a big difference it's a really huge difference so for the amount of money that i spent on sm100 to make 100 stinger blades the original mm -hmm. stingers that were like 3.1 inches long uh, i could have made two runs worth of 20 cv blades that's a lot. Yep. And we, we made 100 versus 400. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's why they cost so much more. All right. Thank you, Elliot. All right, guys. I'm going to get off of here. You're going to see the rest of my video after this. I figured it would make sense to throw this up before. So I will do some editing since I already did my part on it. <laughs> Please don't make another SM100 blade that large. I don't like sharpening them. Sorry. But you do such a good job, Mike. I appreciate that. That doesn't mean it's fun. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'll see you next time. All right, guys, um, so it's early in the evening. I just got done sharpening uh, that straight razor, and um, <clears throat> I had told you that there was something in that video that I couldn't show. I don't know how soon this video is gonna paste, or paste, post, but what this is is this is that full custom. Now you gotta remember, it's still kind of grubby. It's got fingerprints on it. What you have here is an Elliott Williamson full custom flipper in SM100. Has a brass bushing around, inserts, titanium backspacer. This is what you get when Elliott gets craziness in his mind and just decides that he's gonna make a full custom. So this is a hand ground blade, hand ground by Elliot. And if you guys know, SM100 is a titanium nickel alloy. So let me, while we're talking, let me grab a rag here and get a little bit of a, something to wipe that up. So anyway, like I was saying, um, because of the titanium content, Chris has found a way to anodize SM100. Um, because it is a titanium nickel alloy, you can do that. Now, the thing is, it doesn't anodize quite like straight titanium does, as you can see on this backspacer. It's pretty nice, and this, this gunk that's on here, I'm pretty sure that that's a little bit of from the water stones that I use. You get a little bit of patinating. It, needs, it just needs wiped off. Um, like I said, just finished sharpening it. Um, it is hand engraved with Elliot's Maker's Mark, as you can see right there. Like I said, uh, has a bushing, a brass bushing around inserts. It is not a little knife compared to some of the other knives. It is, it's really nice. It is a gorgeous knife. But like I said, I don't know when this is going to post. It is got its Emler edge on it. SM100 gets so wicked sharp. But since this doesn't happen very often, I definitely wanted to get a video of it for you guys. Sculpted pocket clip. I was there the day he was making this. It's amazing watching him do stuff. Um, this was, all, like I said, all hand ground. Hand ground blade. So the, the little things that go with the little imperfections that make a custom knife so amazing. But that's what you got. SM100 custom, full custom flipper by Elliot Williamson from Fire and Forge Knife Works. Kind of back to what he used to do. He did a full custom fixed blade out of Damasteel. Um, so he's doing some stuff because um, they got some time on their hands right now where they're waiting on parts. He's doing some stuff. It is pretty awesome right now. So I've got to get this back to him tomorrow so that they can get this auction so one of you lucky guys can get it. Um, keep an eye out. I don't know how they're going to do it. I imagine they're going to do it as an auction. Um, it will probably be done on their Instagram feed. So keep your eyes out for that. All right, guys, I have got to go.